Hi, my name is Carolyn Lammersfeld. I'm the Vice President of Integrative Oncology for Cancer Treatment Centers of America. In today's Minute of Wellness, we're going to talk about the impact of obesity on cancer risk. Many people are unaware that obesity is currently linked to at least 13 types of cancer, including postmenopausal breast and colorectal cancers, and obesity may potentially increase the risk of these cancers by up to 40%. One of the questions we ask is obesity the new smoking? Uh, approximately six years ago, the American Society for Clinical Oncology um, put out a call to address obesity based on some staggering numbers. Uh, with the thought that in the next 10 years, obesity may actually surpass uh, smoking as the number one modifiable risk factor for cancer. So it's thought that 84,000 cancer cases a year, which is the size of the number of people in a large football stadium, um, will develop cancer that is attributed to obesity. One in five cancer deaths appear to be related to obesity. And based on the fact that 50% of Americans may be obese in the next 10 years, it's thought that that 84,000 cancer cases attributed to obesity will grow to 500,000, which is, again, the size of a population of a small city like Atlanta, all of those individuals having a cancer related to obesity. The silver lining is small percentages of weight loss. So small amounts of weight loss um, appear to be able to modify that risk. Um, it's thought that a 1% decline in body mass index, which is one indicator we use to evaluate whether an individual is carrying extra body weight, a 1% decline in BMI could potentially decrease the number of new cancer cases by 100,000 a year. One might ask, how does extra weight increase risk? Um, many people aren't even aware of the association between obesity and cancer risk. And what we, we do know, we used to think of fat as something that kept us warm and protected our organs uh, from, from damage. And now we know fat is uh, much more active and in a concerning way. Fat may have effects on our cells that could potentially lead to the development of cancer. We know obese people may have increased levels of insulin, an insulin-like growth factor that can act um, to promote the development of certain tumors. Uh, fat tissue produces excess estrogen, which we know is associated with breast, endometrial, and other cancers. And obese people may have more chronic inflammation, which could potentially be associated with increased cancer risk. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this information on a healthy diet and cancer risk reduction helpful. 